I'm in beautiful Portland, Maine right now, and I'm looking for local sprouts. Well, I think we're getting close because I can smell some good food. It must be Hanifa. Hey, James, how are you doing? I'm real well, nice to meet you. Awesome, good to meet you. Hi. Welcome. Well, I've heard so much about you. I just want to know a little bit more about what you've been doing and how local sprouts really came about. We came together, there was about four or five people um, came from this group project called the People's Free Space. And we all had different visions, but everybody had this central one about creating a learning space that involved local food, that involved youth, and then it just snowballed. And so we were getting off the ground with our catering. And last July, we were able to kick off in this kitchen here, our community supported kitchen, or CSK, which is sort of like a CSA, but it takes it to the next level. So it's prepared food. So we're taking those organic veggies that we're getting from our farmers and we're turning them into meals. And people are able to come down here once a week on Wednesdays and pick up their food from us. Healthy made meals that are made from um, food that's grown right here in Maine that's grown organically. And we also provide some of our farmers at the farmer's market with food as well. Right. Part of our CSK program, there's a farmer's lunch. There you go. Thank you. Very cheesecake bar. Thanks a lot. How was lunch? Awesome. Yeah, a lot of the ways that, that local Sprouts has been able to remain local is using sustainable bartering. We also are connected with a group called the Portland Hour Exchange. We have the power as individuals to create something and to, to be an example for other people to also go ahead and create something like Local Sprouts, like our community supported kitchen, and using these alternative currencies to, to keep the movement going. I just feel really empowered and also supported by my community members to be able to start something like this, which is yeah. awesome. What do you think about the whole barter idea anyway? Doing, uh, doing business yeah, that yeah way? we end up doing a lot of bartering. I like their attitude about it. And the other thing is, is come down here, I'm up yeah. at 4 o'clock in the morning. It's nice to have a good, healthy meal come right to me. I, I can't leave this booth. Right. Every time I leave, I, I miss a sale. Sure. So, sure. You know, it's worth it. Yep. It's really made it so we can live off the farm. Otherwise, I don't know what I'd be doing. Pounding nails again, I guess. <laughs> We started Local Sprouts Cooperative in 2007, putting an emphasis on cooking local and organic food, building relationships with the farmers who grow our food, getting our hands dirty in the soil and being part of that process. What I'd like to see coming out of people hearing about Local Sprouts is inspiration and people being inspired in their community. We have a voice, we have skills, we have passions, and we need to learn together how we can use those skills collaboratively to create change in this world. It's great to see what these guys are doing in the city, but I want to see local sprouts in action. I'm going out to the burdock gathering out on the farm. See you there. come into the burdock gathering? This is my fifth year. In today's day and age, of course, it's impractical to live like this all the time, but it's a good, uh, good break from mainstream life. Do you feel like when you guys leave after a long week here that you go away with a little more knowledge about organic food or cooking? Oh, yeah. Or, yeah? Yeah, you always come away with something, even if it's just a good feeling in your heart. Over the course of the eight years, it's really become a place where a community has grown. People share their skills, people share their lives, people share their music, people share the knowledge that they have, and we really create a space for those connections to build amongst people. Local foods, and part of the importance of local foods is really building that relationship on, on various levels. That connection between local farms and local communities, and how do we build that, that community in all different ways. Yeah, coming back to that less is more, it's refreshing to kind of simplify it, know where your stuff's coming from, and to know that it's grown, you know, as you want it, locally, organically. I've been coming here for six years. I'm 19, started coming when I was 13. It's, it's been one of the most important things in my life. 
and it's really shaped my being and shaped my passions, how I choose to live my life. This is the community I came up in. It's an example of what humans can be. Well, we had an interesting night at the Burdock Gathering, so it was great to be on the farm and see all the people come together as a community and talk about organic foods, talk about healthy cooking, and teach each other skills how to live a sustainable life. There's a real great sense of community. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down.